Hey guys, it's Kat Freeman for Victory Fights. Um, today I'm joined with Sean Fraser, who's fighting um, in three weeks. He's fighting Shuan Maruf in a MMA bout. Uh, how are you feeling today, Sean? Feeling good. Feeling good. Uh, still got a couple of sessions to go and I'm already tired, but well. Okay, so it's a training day today, not a rest day? No, not a rest day. Rest day tomorrow or Tuesday. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, how would you say your fight camp's going so far? Um, I'd say it's going really well. Everything's on point. Everything's going according to plan. And the weight's already there, already on weight. So now it is literally just training and recovering constantly. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Um, cool. So what would you say your fight style is, if you have one? Mm, I don't know about fight style. I'd say more I like to adapt. I have a plan, but I'd more like uh -huh. to adapt and fight in a style I feel is right in the moment. Yeah, cool. So obviously in your last fight, um, it was a first round knockout, which was awesome. But I guess you didn't get the uh, opportunity to showcase your skills on the ground at all. So um, would you say your ground game is as good as your striking? Um, to be honest, probably better than my striking. Okay, cool. That's good, yeah. So, so hopefully in this fight coming up, you might get the opportunity to kind of show some of your ground game a bit more. Definitely, definitely. From the wrestling to the jiu-jitsu, um, more different kinds of each. I mean, there's endless things to learn, so always learning is the main thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, cool. Um, so is there anything you're using for recovery during this fight camp, other than, like, getting enough rest and all of that? Um, nothing extra, no. Um, yeah. Recovery has been some like a key point to this one because before I used to just train until I couldn't do anything else. Um, but now it's yeah, just yeah. making sure I'm eating enough, making sure the nutrients are there, making sure I'm stretching, and then I'm good to go yeah. for the next yeah. Thing. yeah, good. Yeah, it's sometimes overlooked, isn't it? Everyone just thinks put everything into training, yeah. but recovery is a huge part of that. So that's yeah. good. Um, yeah, so. Uh, do you have a message for your opponent at all? Um, I watched his last interview um, and I know he's been talking a little bit on social media as well. I haven't spoken to him directly yet, but don't particularly have a message for him. Uh, just, well, he says me show up, but so far I've had over five pullouts and three scheduled bouts. So hopefully he turns oh. up. <laughs> he will. I know he's training hard. I know he's recovering. Good luck to him. But I wouldn't be so quick to talk when his first opponent had zero wins and 10 losses and he's talking about first round finishes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're both undefeated fighters and both finished the fights in the first round. So it, it is going to be an exciting fight. Um, I know a lot of people are looking forward to watching it. So, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Um, do you have a message for any of your fans that are going to be coming to watch you in Brighton? Um, I don't have a message, no. They already know what's coming. They already know what's going to happen. They yeah, yeah. Me compete. I mean, this will be my second MMA fight, but I've fought in boxing, kickboxing and jiu-jitsu tournaments. So they've seen me. They know what I'm about already. Awesome. awesome. Cool. Okay. Um, thank you very much for taking the time for this interview and I will see you November the 2nd. Can't yeah, wait to see the